Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead and this is my dad Hi. and um, today we are gonna be in the workshop again. He is the boss here and he's gonna show us one of his machines. <laughs> so, all cutters in position, right, right um, shapes and everything installed. Now my dad is driving down the machine and we'll have to do one last thing here so um, you see these pieces of sheet metal I guess it is called that are right here they will determine how much wood will be taken off the raw milled lumber that's coming in here right now it's it's adjusted so the undercutter will take two millimeters, no, no, one millimeter, but you want to take off two from the piece of lumber. Okay, so we will take away one of these sheets that is um, one millimeter thick. Here you can see one of those sheets that's one millimeter thick and my dad just took it out. And now, basically, when the piece is coming in here, it's not going to be so high, it's going to be lower. And it's... Um, the, the undercutter will take away more. So you see when you adjust the width, this here is what gives pressure against the board and pushes it against here because later right there is the side cutter and so it needs to be against here so what my dad is checking now is how much it'll take off so you see um, he's holding he's holding this against um, back there there is the cutter it'll take it off and here this gap which is right now maybe two three millimeters it, that's what will be taken off the side that's how you will determine that Twenty-eight millimeters. We're gonna double check again the exact thickness. Mm -hmm. Twenty-eight millimeters. Okay, so I know I'm gonna get lots of comments here on how much this machine costs. So my dad, when he had his Woodmeister bandsaw mill, his plan was to actually put this in a horse trailer and also drive to the customer like he did with his Woodmeister and then plane the wood for the customer. We found out most farmers didn't want to have the wood planed, um, so we just put in our workshop. So, what did this machine cost you? This machine cost today around about $10,000. $10,000 about, okay. In the, including a fan for the sodas. With, with a fan included, $10,000, okay. So there you have it. You can actually go to their website, the Logo Soul. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. They have a .us uh, website. Um, we were not, <laughs> this machine was not given to us. I'm not advertising. I'm just saying for you guys if you're interested. So. This machine is very good. Uh, professional, professional industry machine. It's cost one million Swedish kroner or more. Yeah, that's, that's like $130,000. Yes, yeah. but this is for a homestead and for a private and... Yeah, a good okay, low budget little, machine. For a little business, it's a very good machine. You have for much machine for... Yeah, you, you get a lot, of, a lot of machine for a little price tag. Yeah, exactly. This is a very good machine for this money. Uh, we have done so much. We have built several buildings and, and houses with this. Thousands of... Thousands of meters we have planed uh, through the years with this machine. This yeah. machine is now 13 years old. 13 years old machine. It looks very new, very good shape. It's easy to repair. Easy to repair, yeah. Yep. So he's putting the lid on, he's locking it. And first, when it's locked, you can actually start the machine. And here, through this window, you will be able to see a little bit of what's going on. It's 
it's time to put ear protectors on. Okay, so we're gonna use this machine now. We have one disadvantage, and that is that we don't have a piece of uh, wood. We don't have a little short board where we can do a test drive. But we have a board extra. So we'll run it through here, and we'll show you some footage of how this machine does the work. Raw, milled and dried lumber goes in. Four sides, plain and molded, come out. Now this year is for the fan now. Okay, so we just had to mill three boards and obviously uh, plane three boards and obviously that's uh, a lot of work even though this goes fairly quick to to uh, adjust this but it's still a lot of work for just three boards you know normally you would run through a few hundred boards but um, here we have two of them this is going to be the flooring for the customer and Manette just wants to show you how to put it together real quick here is how it'll how it fits together now. And you have a beautiful wood floor once this is done. Now you see here, this is our wood floor in our workshop that we also built ourselves. I want to make another video and talk about all the wood floors we have on the farm here. So, there you go. Those are the three boards for the customers. They're going to be very happy. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. You got to see a little more of the workshop and what we do. You got to meet my dad and uh, be part of some of the work that we do here um, and how we make a living. My dad uh, used to work full time with the sawmill and with the, uh, this in the workshop. But right now he actually took a job in town as a teacher and he does this still um, on the side a little bit. But there are gonna come more videos about the workshop and, and lots of things here on the homestead so stay tuned subscribe to our channel that's the easiest way to get notified when you um, want to see a video that we've posted um, check out our Facebook page if you haven't we post pictures there that won't appear on the YouTube channel and see you in the next video bye 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 bye